Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Two Minute Tuesdays Together, where we are continuing our journey of understanding the Bible. So over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about some of the basics of the Bible, the, the basic divisions and outline and structure of the Bible. And these basic things are important uh, because I think they can give us the foundation that we need and the tools that we need to, to help and enhance uh, our understanding of the Bible. So if you haven't seen those videos, I encourage you at some point to go back and look at those. I'll put them in the uh, description uh, below to, to help you get to those. But today we're going to start getting into sort of the specifics of the Bible. And what I want to say is, you know, we've talked about the Bible and, and some of its divisions. You've got Old Testament and New Testament. Well, there's not 39 books, 39 books that make up the Old Testament. And we can take those 39 books and we can divide them further into four different sections. Okay, You have the historical section. Then you have the poetry and wisdom writings. Then you have the major prophets and the minor prophets. So today, we're going to begin, where else? The beginning. So we're going to be looking at the first section, which is the historical books. So let's get two minutes on the clock and let's go. As we begin to look at some of the particulars and specifics of the book, we're going to begin with the historical books. You might want to turn to your table of contents of the Bible. Now, the historical book section of the Old Testament contains 17 books. It goes from Genesis through Esther. Now, of these 17 books, we're going to subdivide the historical section, and we're going to begin this week with the uh the, the Pentateuch. These are the first five books of the Bible. You've got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, all five of these writings are ascribed to Moses, and they hold a special place in the Jewish literature, the Jewish Testament. Uh, it has a higher uh, respect, and it's held in a higher holiness. The Hebrew Jewish community usually refer to these five books as the law or the Torah or the law of Moses. And I guess if I'm going to give a basic description or understanding of the Pentateuch, is it is that it contains the beginning. It has the beginning of the world. It has the beginning of the formation of the Hebrew people. It has the beginning or the giving of the law of God. It is the beginning of the nation of Israel. The beginning and the formation of the Jewish culture. And as you look through the Pentateuch, it, it goes from the beginning of the world. In the beginning, it goes through the death of Moses. Well, so one of the things I want to do is encourage you over the next week or so to, to just kind of skim through the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch, and just get an idea of the flow of what is happening. So you get an, uh, an idea in your own mind of what is contained within those first five books. And that will be a great beginning uh, to your uh, understanding uh, the Bible. So look, I hope this is helpful to you. I hope that uh, you're learning and, and this is going to increase and deepen your understanding of the Bible. Take a minute to, to share this video with others that they may uh, join our journey as well. And I look forward to when we get together again.